welcome back to my animal education series. So today I'm going to have a short video about a topic that I think is pretty simple, but uh, myself and wildlife rehabilitation centers have been seeing a whole lot more of this. So I've been seeing it often enough that I thought I should make a video about it to explain why we should not be painting turtle shells. Like unless it's a painted turtle that comes naturally like that, don't put like wall paint or house paint onto a turtle or just any paint, nail polish or anything. So this video I'm going to quickly explain why you should not be doing that. So these guys, along with a lot of other reptiles, absorb what they need from the sun, including UVA and UVB. Now if you go and put paint on top of a turtle shell, they will not be able to absorb that anymore. And without that improper growth, which is fairly common in household pet turtles where they don't have UVA and UVB, it causes improper shell development and shell growth. Like in this shell right here, this is from, I assume, the previous attack uh, based on the turtle that I found. But these scutes right here aren't like perfectly straight or symmetrical like they normally would be if it wasn't uh, attacked by an animal or with improper uh, shell growth. But this was a wild turtle, so the chance of this probably just happened, and I hope that this turtle never had paint on it. But that's kind of what you could see, or just improper shell shape. The yurtle, uh, my turtle here, her shell is pretty round, but if the shell doesn't grow properly, then the shell won't be round at all, be very bumpy, very rough, and it won't be good for the turtle at all. Another thing that I can present here with the shell is the turtle shell is actually part of the turtle's spine. Like a lot of people think it's kind of similar to a hermit crab where they can kind of come and go out of that shell uh, as they need. But that's not the case with turtles. This shell is completely connected to them and is part of them. It's essentially just a big bone. Uh, actually, it is a big bone. So if you put paint on top of this, it really messes up how it grows and, it, and basically the overall health of the turtle. It's not going to eat properly. It's not going to drink properly. It's just not going to be a healthy animal at all. Not only does painting a turtle shell become really bad for the turtle's health, but it also makes them a very brightly colored target for any predator that wants to eat them. I've seen turtles that are painted like pink, yellow, reds, and when they're in brown and green forests or mulched areas, it's just a bright target for any bird of prey, raccoon, dog, anything that wants to attack that animal. I can kind of show that here as well. I don't know how well it's going to come on camera, but we have bite marks on this shell. So let's say in the hypothetical situation that this turtle was painted in some way, this is a very easy, easy target for any animal. So they don't have to find their food, it's just basically a walking meal that's super easy to grab because it can't hide and it's impossible for this animal to hide. Do not paint turtle shells with anything. And definitely not nail polish, wall paint, because if you go and paint your house or a wall or anything, you don't want to be in that room or breathe those chemicals for too long because it's not good for you. And all of those chemicals get absorbed right into the turtle shell and right into their bloodstream. And look at that cute face. I don't want to see that turtle or any other turtle have to suffer health-wise because someone wants to paint it all pretty. And before I end off the video, I do want to show you guys Yurtle again. Yurtle, as you guys might remember from a couple of videos back, I built this big uh, awesome hide out of excavator clay for her and how it's all covered in bark and moss and it's uh, beautiful and I said that this turtle probably won't be able to destroy it. Well, this turtle has pretty much destroyed most of it except for all the structural integrity of it, which is the important part. The cosmetics doesn't really matter all that much. But that's a little update on that as she's hunting a super worm I threw in there for her uh, for being a good model and posing all nice for me. But thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.